And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some LeBlanc spiders. That's right, we're gonna try an entire spider deck. It's been a while since we played a spider deck, but we got this brand new spider that we wanna play. We got Shrieking Spinner. It's gonna be a four drop attack. Grant your spider allies plus one plus zero. Of course that grant means permanent buff. Five health is quite a bit. So we're gonna have that, we're gonna have a Rachnoid Host also granting sp spider allies plus two plus zero whenever you play it. So we're gonna be buffing up our spiders with those two. We'll have LeBlanc in here also as our other champion besides Elise to go along with all of our different spiders. Um, if we're granting our spiders plus one plus zero with the spinner and plus two plus zero with the host, they're gonna get to five power pretty quick and they're gonna be doing a lot of damage. It's gonna be pretty easy to level up LeBlanc because they're gonna be doing lots of damage. So that'll be pretty exciting. As far as spells in here, we're basically gonna be using our spells as card advantage. We're gonna have Glimpse Beyond and Stalking Shadows get us some more spiders that, uh, in case we need more of those. For interaction for them, all we got, all we got is Vile Feast, also making a spider, and then an Atrocity, because we can build up these spiders pretty big and sacrifice one to Atrocity to finish out the game. So not very much burn. Usually with these spider decks, we I've usually played like a good amount of burn at the top end of like Noxion Fervors and Doom Beasts and all that kind of stuff to burn them out. But instead, we're going like full on spider synergy with spinner and host and, you know, really attacking for a lot more damage than normal. So that should be pretty awesome. All right, so we'll be leveling up our leases and everything. Let's get to it, LeBlanc Spiders. Let's play our five games in ranked. Oh no, this is like the worst possible matchup, right? Because, uh, because all we, you know, we don't have interaction. We're just, you know, we're just playing spiders and then all they got to do is, you know, like play their Fiora and protect their Fiora. All right, well, it's Mulligan. I mean, this is like two, three, four, five. That's a kind of a nice two, three, four, five. But I definitely want a one drop, but we only have six one drops. Hmm. I wonder if I just keep this one, two, three, four, five. Or the, just the 2, 3, 4, 5. Maybe I just keep this. Send, we play Horror, then we play LeBlanc, then we play the Spinner, and then we play the Host. This is kind of nice. I don't know. This could work. One drop? No. Well, I said no because we didn't get the one drop. Glimpse Beyond actually is good against Fiora because a card that they would like block or challenge or you know, kill with Fiora, we would be able to um, sacrifice and draw two cards to keep you know, keep one Fiora kill from happening. Valfies can get rid of a barrier. That could be useful. Um, yeah, LeBlanc, LeBlanc kind of met my expectations. I had LeBlanc as just like an, an average champion, and that's kind of like where she is. She's not, not like a bad card, but you know, just really good attacker, great, you know, great stats with that quick attack, but um, you know, nothing too flashy about LeBlanc. All right, well, unfortunately, they do have turn three Fiora. There is a fail rate with that deck. Probably, there's not always turn three Fiora every single game. But unfortunately, they do have the turn three Fiora. Okay. That can be a useful card. I'm gonna save it for just a little bit. Uh, good question. Oh. Well, that's too bad. I, was, I mean, I guess they wouldn't. I wouldn't really have like the opportunity for sentry probably anyway. Go with horror. So I have six mana next turn. Yeah, Valfi's good for barrier pop. Really hope they don't have don't have fight spells. So 
So I could keep the two mana for like Lumps Beyond Stalking Shadows available. Yeah, I don't care. I can't kill that thing anyway. That's just fine with me. Is that lethal now? I guess they could have Brittle Steel still. They've already played two Brittle Steels. Oh, come on. You have the third Brittle Steel? Boo. Ugh, so close. The third Brittle Steel. So it's basically how many fight spells do they have. Need to find Stun Spider. Another copy of Stun Spider. That is not Stun Spider. How do we only get one with Stalking Shadows? <laughs> we only have ten spells in our deck and we've already drawn one, two, three, four, five. We'd already drawn five spells. I guess champions. Champions don't get hit from, from that card either. So Judgment's the main problem right now. But I can't do anything about that. Because if I only attack with two, if they have... You know, to try to play around judgment, I still I still lose like on the attack back. So yeah, I can't I can't beat judgment just in general. But yeah, I just can't beat judgment. So yellow it is. No judgment, please. Take it all. I can beat that card. Because I can do this. I cannot beat two fight spells. So they end up having three fight spells. You know, because <clears throat> that Fjord only had one kill, and we had the Glimpse Beyond to stop it, but, you know, they ended up having three fight spells to, to have kills two, three, and four in the last two turns, all fight spells. I think we did a good job. I think we put ourselves in a position to win, but three fight spells, too good. And they had to have the third Brittle Steel, remember? Because they already played two Brittle Steels, and I stunned the Fiora, went for lethal. They only had one mana. They only had one card that would save them as Brittle Steel. And they had the third copy of Brittle Steel. So they had to have the third copy of Brittle Steel and then three fight spells. And they had it. Okay. Zoe Leeson. Playing against the fun decks today. All right, prediction started. Valfies for Zoe. We can we can go with this. Do I want the second Vile Feast? Vile Feast also good against Lee Sin Barrier. Yeah, we did everything we could against the Fiora deck. But they got me. Sparkle fly. Concentration. Bad sparkle fly. We shall sparkle no more. We use glimpse beyond, they don't get the three two. Or I just Arachno Sentry and stun their stun thing and then attack. I think I like that option more. And I I think it's better to stun the stun thing 
than the Mentor of the Stones. Yeah, yeah, Gordak, we won our last three with Jarvan, with Ash Jarvan, and, um, you know, first two games, no Grand Plaza, our deck looked real rough, last three games, all, all three of them, we had Grand Plaza, our deck looked a lot better. Another sparkle fly. Yeah, I was running three plazas. For that deck, it's definitely worth, because that, that deck needs plaza. Basically, whatever the Sparklefly blocks, we're going to glimpse beyond. I see every move. You cannot win. <laughs> but I don't think we win this anyway. I don't know. Because, yeah, we don't... Don't quite do lethal. Close, we got him down to two again. Feels like we need a little bit of reach in this deck. Just a little bit of reach. Like some, you know, Noxion Fervors, Doom Beast, that kind of stuff. Like maybe Doom Beast is actually better than LeBlanc in here. Yeah, because all the spiders are cool and everything, but maybe, maybe like Doom Beast is actually just better than LeBlanc. Yeah, Decimate. But, yep, lots of gems here. We'll see if they can do 15 to us. We need another Glimpse Beyond or something. You know, like, we'll have maybe leveled up Elise. Uh, we have one Atrocity. I could see playing more Atrocities. Like, maybe, you know, because Fast Speed is nice. And Atrocities are good against, like, these Fioras and Fight Spells and everything. Okay, well. Ow. Okay, so this is a round start level up. That's really good. I kind of thought this was like a round end, but it's a round start. That's good, so they can't just hush. Yeah, that's, that's my goal is level up Elise. Challenge this thing at the end. Okay, I feel like they have Deny in hand, if they didn't play that during combat. I kind of feel like they have Deny in hand. There we go, level the lease. Get it done. Spooky Spiders, one and one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This deck kills spiders. Squishes them. I don't want my spiders getting squished. Squishy spiders. So I'm going to keep the Stalking Shadows because that can get, get us multiple bodies. Fresh Pets a 1 drop. A 2 5 is more difficult to squish. So we're going to keep the 2 5. So we're going to have the three mana deal one damage to everything. Uh, probably. I feel like if I play the Fresh Spet, they have that. We'll just get three damage in right now. Yuck. Okay. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, let's see. So I play Sentry, they play... Oh, we'll do this one, we'll get two damage in. Hmm. I play this, they play Avalanche, I, I can Vile Feast. I can Vile Feast next turn though, we can play Precious Bet, we get three damage in. Ah, oh, they did have Ice Shard. We lost to Fiora. Uh, Freljord Fiora. We had a, a good hand. They did as well. They had... We had, like, a, a really good attack with an, with an Arachnoid Sentry stun in their card, their Fiora, where they had to have... They had one mana left. They had to have Brittle Steel, and they had already played two Brittle Steels, and they did have Brittle Steel. And then after that, you know, our next attack, they either needed Judgment or th three Fight Spells, and they had three Fight Spells. Well, they had one Fight Spell at the end of the turn, and then they had to have two more Fight Spells. And they did, so they had exactly what they needed to win. Alright, spinner. Try not to get squished. Come on in. Man, their deck is so good against aggro. Ice shards and avalanches and tavern keepers everywhere. So when it was ice shard again, because like they at least they, if they ice shard, I could vile feast and kill that thing before it kills my shrieking spinner. No, I I wouldn't say that Lissandra. Yeah, somebody says that Lissandra Trundle is not actually good. It just destroys all the absurd amount of aggro on the ladder. I mean, it's still that's a good deck because there is a lot of aggro and it's really really good against aggro. So I mean, that's still a, a good deck. But I mean, it's not it's not perfect, but not really. You know, like hardly any decks are perfect. I know what lurks in the shadows. That egg. Did it move? Quiet. But yeah, Withering Whales, Ice Shards, Triple, Kindly Tavern Keeper. It's like, come on. So that's our second Babbling Bureau, because they've drawn two large cards. That's so gotta be like two Ledros, right? I think that'd be two Ledros. I could go for leveling up the Elise by Vile Feasting the Hapless Aristocrat, but if they have something that kills small things, that could be kind of bad for me. Like another Ice Shard. My best play, you know, is to Vile Feast two of these and then attack, but then, you know, I am opening myself to just another Sweeper. I don't think I'm going to do it, though. 
There has to be a limit to how many of these sweepers they have, right? So they've played Ice Shards, Avalanche. Avalanche, Vile Feast. Or like, sorry. Okay, so we know they're not gonna have that. Okay, so we'll just let this, let's just let this happen. Let them play something. Yeah, exactly. We gotta, we gotta try. <laughs> so they played three kindly tavern keepers. Two withering whale, two avalanche, and ice shards. Now they have two Ledros in hand. Yep, bad matchup. Not much we could do here. Oh, that thing's ephemeral too? I forgot that one was ephemeral. Time to make an appearance. But it's okay. It's not like that's gonna cost that's not gonna cost me the game, because the game's already over. They're not even having their like O one block my four two. Yep. All right, so this is what a bad matchup's called. That's a tough one, pal. Ash LeBlanc. Okay, so they do have uh, Reckoning, but we can also get our things up to 5 power. Um, I'm going to mulligan the 3 mana cards. It's not like any of them are necessarily bad, but yeah, I want Elise, and I want to curve out a little bit better. I do like keeping Vile Feast basically because they have like the 5-1 that's real popular, and then they also have, like, the 5-1 Challenger. They have Icefield Archer also at 3-1. I do like Vile Feast in this matchup, so I'm going to keep that. Okay, prediction started. So they cannot have Culling Strike, so that's good. Icefell Archer was the worst case scenario for two mana, but at least he got the Icefell Archer out of their hands, I suppose. My arrow won't miss. Sure. They want to protect a. Just a 3 1. Follow me. I feel like that troll chant could be more valuable later. Alright, so my plan is to try to kill it. And then they play like something. Like that. And then I stun that. And then we attack. They block like one of these 1 1 spiders, and I still have enough. Extra to level up Elise. They blocked that thing. So they just save saving the life. Still level up Elise. Sweet. 
All right, so if their plan is reckoning, I guess my plan is dying. Please no reckoning, please no reckoning. They did attack first, which is good for me. I could save six life. No. Now, now we have three things that stay alive through a reckoning. They didn't just cast it immediately. Oh no, brittle steel plus reckoning. Wow, that's just the the best. Wow. Just the best possible. Wow. Well. Let's see. So I can just play another Arachnoid Host. So I go Vile Feast, Arachnoid Host. I don't think I just play the Shrieking Spinner. Gets rid of a LeBlanc. Useless pawn. Victory requires a sharp blade. Why do I then block the six three? I'd rather block the three five. Is it brittle steel? Stun? No, I need stun. If I play the host, means we get to block and kill Kato with like a Spiderling. But then I don't have the host anymore. Next turn I'd have seven mana. Pretty awkward for this stuff. But we kill Kato. It's gotta be worth it to kill Kato. Because otherwise I can play like the because if I if I don't play host, I can I can definitely make my attack next turn a lot better. So actually, no, maybe I maybe I don't. Because then I play like this and this, and then next turn, horror and host. No, as far as, no, we'll have seven. As far as like unit mana, like I, I won't have eight. I can't play all three of these next turn. All right, so I'm going with the kill Kato line. This is my better play against Reckoning, but it's my worst play at killing them. Obviously. Oh, I do have 8 mana. Oh, so I just can't count, I suppose. That's unfortunate. 2 mana draw 2. A chill in the air. It's even more unfortunate. They only have to block with the 3-1, and that does mean I'm dead for an open attack, if they do open attack. So this... Oh, they did not open attack. Wait, I guess I'm still dead to open attack, aren't I? Or I'm still just dead. Um... So I can I can glimpse beyond and look for atrocity, but atrocity doesn't work because then they frostbite. How can I stay alive? I guess I can't. It's two Kato's. I, I need to block that Kato with the eight three instead of the six three. I needed to do that. I needed to. I needed to not play the host and just play the other stuff out and not play against another re reckoning. 
I mean, I, I can't I can't stay alive though from just them attack here with Kato with eight. Like these things are eight power overwhelm. I can't I can't I'm at five. I can't stay alive. There's just nothing. I mean, I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't, Atrocity couldn't even work, because, like, if I sacrifice one of these to, to look for Atrocity, the Ash attack Frostbites, and so Atrocity doesn't work. If I would have gone for Glimpse Beyond Atrocity. The Brittle Steel Reckoning was brutal. Okay, another deck with another Lissandra deck with a bunch of sweepers. Wow. Hey, Bunny, good games. Yeah, that was that was a really close one there. That was, uh, yeah, real real good games there. Oh, I love Swain Lissandra. I actually, I, I actually like Swain Lissandra more than Trundle Lissandra. Yeah, I really like this deck. Like that's we we played Swain Lissandra, I don't know, like a week ago or so, and I really liked it. Time to make an appearance. Oh, prediction. New prediction was started. It was right on my tail. They're coming high. They'll come for you. Fear the power that you do not see. Not too worried about that hitting me right now. Some kind of sweeper effect's pretty likely. This Ravenous Flock card's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Alright, well. That should level up Swain. Um, but I guess the Swain does take a damage from the Ice Shard, so okay, cool. So the Swain will die. So this will completely clear the board. We're not in the worst spot, though. They're at 9. We, we're only one less card than them, but we got double Stalking Shadows. So not in the worst spot. Master your deeds. Hmm. Maybe better to go. No. I guess it's the host. Two hosts are pretty expensive though. Yeah, I don't I don't love host with that. I guess it's house spider. Uh, I don't really love either one of these. I guess it's house spider.
All right, more attacking. Okay, not bad. I don't really know why the three why why is this three three blocking a three one instead of a four two. Like they could be at two and I have a three one in play instead of they're at one and I have a four two in play. Yeah, so like they could be at five right now. There's nothing to fear. When victory is at stake. We could use a bite. All right, so the onus is on them to do something. Justify yourself. Counter attack. Of course, we have atrocity. Awesome. That will do. Gotta win. Now we it's just better to save Atrocity instead of like using Atrocity and then they get to respond by using a removal spell or a Frostbite spell or something like that. There's um, until until you gotta use Atrocity or until they're tapped out, like one of those two. If they they can t until they can't respond. So basically, with this deck, I was I have to say that I was I was definitely impressed by Arachnoid Host and I was impressed by Shrieking Spinner. Those are two cards that I was really impressed with that, that really did a whole lot in granting the, the spider allies with the power. That that looked really good. I did really, really like that. And like going wide with the spiders and granting them, that was good. However, what our, our deck was really missing, direct nexus damage. I felt like that. And just kind of better top end cards. LeBlanc looked just really unimpressive in here. Like this this card did not look good in here. That didn't really fit, um, you know, we yeah, it just didn't fit in here. We already have like other better three drops. It's you know it's the worst of our three drops, and that's not a good sign for the champion. So I I would not I would not really recommend playing LeBlanc in this deck. Um, yeah, it just didn't fit. I think that uh, yeah I think that we could use like some better top end. Like we had the one atrocity which was good, but I could I could see playing some more atrocity. But yeah, just finding some some ways to get direct damage in here. Like instead of like LeBlanc having a card like. Having like a couple Captain Farrens, like that could that could really help out against like these uh, control decks and decks that stabilize that we, where you can get your decimates um, and everything. Like I think that I'd rather have just something like that, like Captain Farron instead of LeBlanc. Uh, it's just yeah, Captain Farron just super super powerful. Um, so I think I would kind of go like that that route. Uh, Captain Farron, Doom Beast, Doom Beast is awesome with Stalking Shadows of getting those and getting multiple drains in. I think I kind of want to be going that route. No, no LeBlanc. Um, Darius is a finisher. Uh, yeah, if you want to, if you want to keep going with champions, you could use Darius for a finisher. Mm, Darius is, yeah, it, it can be a finisher. I, I don't know if Darius is better. I know it costs two mana less than Captain Farron, so that's good. But I don't know if it's actually better than Captain Farron, just because. Captain Farron makes those decimates and is also, you know, it's they're basically the same kind of size, but it makes those decimates. And is something that you can find, you know, keep on having cards that you can find off stock, Stalking Shadows is always good. So you can find your top end card with that. But I have to say that I was impressed with Spinner and Host. So I think I think there's something there. Um, but I think that we need we just need need some better finishers, right? Like we need some better ways to, to finish the game out. All right, but anyway, that's it here for LeBlanc Spiders. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments as well. I always appreciate those. But uh, yeah, let me know what, you, what you're doing for spiders. If you're playing some some spider aggro um, here with Elise and with this new spinner. Um, yeah, I'm really interested to hear about what you're doing with that. All right, but anyway, that's all I got here for LeBlanc Spiders. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.